Apparently, I'm going to do these in sets of three. So the three movies I watched were Never Going Back, Minority Report, there we go, and Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. First up, we got Never Going Back. It's about these two high school girls who really want to go to the beach uh, for one of their birthdays. And uh, so they pay for that trip before they go for it. And then they realize, oh, we need rent money. So they have to work like crazy to get the rent money. But then they make a bunch of poor decisions because they're just a bunch of high school girls. Um, I enjoyed this movie. I liked it. Um, it was kind of frustrated because, like, they make so many bad decisions throughout the movie. But, like, unlike Tusk, where I hated it because, like, it's a bunch of 20 and 30-year-olds who are just the worst people... These two girls are, they're supposed to be 16, so, like, it's understandable for them to be making poor decisions. Plus, like, they don't have any adults in their life. Like, their parents just aren't at the picture. So, like, it's, they're a product of their environment. Like, it makes sense that they're being reckless and crazy and doing all these stupid things. Um, but, uh, like, even though, like, they made me frustrated, I still like them a bit. And was, like, I wanted them to succeed. But, yeah, it's basically just a comedy-ish kind of, I don't know. It's silly and fun. I enjoyed it. Minority Report. So this is a Tom Cruise movie from way back in the day, 2002. I was 12. Well, actually, June. I was 11 when this came out. Um, so if you don't know the premise, it takes place in the future where they have, uh, it's in D.C. where they're trying this new experimental police program where they have these uh, three people who are precogs who can predict the future and who can stop. So they're going around arresting murderers before they murder their victim. Um, and then Tom Cruise gets accused of being a murderer and he's on the run trying to figure out why he's going to murder this person. Um, I think I saw it way back in the day. All I, I knew the premise like, I know the premise from forever ago. And I think I watched this. I know I watched the scene where Tom Cruise gets his eyeball eyeballs replaced um, back in, like, high school or something. But I don't know if I actually saw the entire thing because I was kind of surprised by some bits. But, yeah, it's just basically just, like, a sci-fi mystery. Like, a, it's a good mystery with, like, lots of solid twists and turns. And it's mostly a smart movie. There's, like, a couple of dumb things that happen. And I'm just like, why did you do that? That was That wasn't smart. You're doing so good. And then there's also like a jetpack scene that I really, really hated. Because like it also just slipped into like slapstick comedy. And I'm like, why why is there a slapstick comedy scene in the middle of this sci-fi detective movie thing? What is happening? I hate this. Um, but overall, I really I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was a quite. Um, yeah. So I'm glad I watched that. And last movie is Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. Though I don't think the X really means against, but I can't translate stuff, so who knows? <clears throat> People who can speak Japanese. Anyway, so this is a Godzilla movie. I used to be really into Godzilla when I was in middle school. There's probably around 30 Godzilla movies, and I've probably seen a third of them. Um, I haven't seen this one before. The premise is basically so it ignores most of the Godzilla lore. Uh, the only movies, other movies that have uh, canonly taken place in this universe are the very first Godzilla, and then the very first Mothra movie, the Mothra by herself, and then this other movie I had never heard of that's basically like giant Bigfoots fighting. I don't know how that one plays into anything, um, but it looks crazy and I kind of want to go watch it. But yeah, so in this movie... Uh, so the original Godzilla died back in 54 in the original movie. And then that suddenly there's new Godzilla's attacking. And they're like, oh, what's going on? So they decide to take the bones of the original Godzilla and use that for the frame for this new Mecha Godzilla to attack back. Um, and honestly, it really was pretty good. Um, the effects look solid, especially for a Godzilla movie. Um, there was actually a story with interesting characters. Like, the main character is a woman who is badass with an interesting backstory. And then, like, there's also the scientist who's pretty funny. The only times I didn't like him were, was when he was, like, hitting on her. Because, like, there's a 20 year, eight, 20 year age difference and it was just super creepy. But other than that, like, it was great. And then he has a daughter um, who is kind of, like, the, the soul of the movie. She's really great. I, I just, like, yeah, just a fun little kid. Um, yeah. And, like, it's also, the movie is also just, like, paced well and just decent action. Like, it's still, you know, cheesy and kind of, like, this is a 2002 movie. I think it's 2002. Um, Non-Hollywood movie. So I would say the effects are pretty solid for 18 years ago, not Hollywood. Um, but, yeah, if you're interested in some Godzilla stuff, this isn't 
this isn't a bad choice. I would still say see the first one first. Um, you don't necessarily, I don't think you need to see the Mothra or the other one. Mothra does play into, there is a sequel to this that I plan on watching next week, because this is kind of like a, it ends on a cliffhanger thing. Uh, it's kind of like a part one, a part, or a two-parter, basically, um, is what I've heard. Uh, and so Mothra plays into the sequel. I don't know if the, the giant Bigfoots play into anything, but... I don't know. That kind of it looks amazing. I should go. I should check it out. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what I find. All right. So here's the updated list now. Uh, Minority Report is at five. I quite enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to put it in the really enjoyed, but just like because of the couple, couple my couple complaints, um, I just couldn't couldn't do it. Uh, then what do we have got next? Oh yeah, and then Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. I was gonna put it in just like the regular category, the black category. But I'm just like, the more I thought about it, I was like, no, I really, I did quite enjoy it. Like, just look, ah, it's just a badass poster. Ah, it's so good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's just good. It's really good. Um, and then never going back. I just, I enjoyed. I was like, this is done. I'm like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was, it was solid. Yeah, so this is, this is my list.